what is this squiggly line? I'm gonna take a couple minutes and explain this squiggly line. We're gonna look at it as it's presented in my book of saxophone music, Yuletide Improvisations, which you can check out on my website. There's a link in the description. And if you dig it and wanna get a copy for yourself, then uh, there's also a promo code in the description that you can use and save a couple bucks. Back to the topic at hand. What is this squiggly line? It is called a mordant. Here is a short melody. I'm gonna play it without the mordant and then I'll play it with the mordant. So you can hear it's a couple of quick notes that I've added at the beginning of these notes. So the first question is, how do I know which notes to add? You play the notated pitch, you play the next note above it in the key. In this case, that would be a G sharp. Then you return to the original note. So I'm gonna play a quick F sharp, a quick G sharp, and then play out the rest of the note on F sharp. Easy peasy. In this measure, the written note is G sharp. The next note above it in the key is A, and then I return to G sharp. On saxophone, little insider trick is to keep that G sharp key down while you play A. It can make the flip a little easier. But that has nothing to do with the notation of the mordant. It's just a technical issue on saxophone. Sometimes a mordant can use the note below. That's not as common, but it can happen. And the mordant symbol is a little bit different. You see it has that line through it. Is there really any difference between grace notes and these mordant notes? And the answer is yes, and it's all in the timing. It is my understanding that grace notes happen before the written pitch is to begin. So in this case, the F sharp begins on beat one. If they were grace notes, the little quick F sharp and G sharp, they would occur before beat one and I would land on beat one on the long F sharp. Let's listen. <laughs> With a mordant, a mordant begins where the notated pitch begins. So in this case, the F sharp begins on beat one, and beat one is where you play the mordant. All right, one last thing before we call it a day is we'll look at the first two lines of this arrangement of I saw three ships. As we look at it, you'll see that there are grace notes, and then we see a couple mordants, and you'll also notice those ossia measures, which are the little measures you see above the mordants, and those are basically your explainers. So if you never found this video and were playing this arrangement of I saw three ships, you'd still have a clue. Those don't appear over every mordant. They just appear over the first occurrences. But I just know that you're smart enough to know that, oh, I get it, that's how the mordant works. So when I see it, I know what to do. Here, I'll play the first two lines for you. If you want to hear the rest of it, you can go to the website, check it out. Well, there you have it, folks. All you ever wanted to know about mordants, probably more than you imagined there was to know. That's all I've got for you today. Hope there was something helpful. If you have any questions for me, just throw them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, see ya.